We're getting a pretty sobering look at the direction COVID-19 hospitalizations in Texas are headed from a group of UT researchers. I'm Brandi Smith. Before we dig into this chart and the data behind it, let's talk about who created it. The University of Texas COVID-19 Modeling Consortium is a collective of scientists, social scientists and engineers developing innovative models that advance the surveillance, forecasting and mitigation of COVID-19. According to its website, it uses COVID-19 hospitalization data from the Texas Department of State Health Services, Texas 2036, the nonprofit data lab, and cell phone mobility to track how much people are moving around and potentially spreading the virus. Now let's look at these charts. This one illustrates daily COVID-19 hospitalizations in Texas. If we look at it over time, you see that wave last summer, then a big one last winter, things seem to improve until about July 3rd. Since then, we've watched the number of COVID-19 positive patients in hospitals increase from about 1,600 to more than 2,500 on July 15th. And as of August 4th, there are 7,685. This is where those projections come in. Based on the available data, this model predicts will exceed 15,000 people hospitalized with COVID-19 by August 15th. That is exponential growth. The story is the same here in Houston. Looking at those same dates, 525 on July 15th, nearly 1,900 by August 4th, and we are predicted to reach 3,830 by August 15th. What's worse is that unless our behavior changes, those numbers are expected to keep going up. And the CDC reports 97% of those COVID-19 patients who end up in the hospital aren't vaccinated. That's why health experts and local leaders are calling for a return to indoor masking, even for people who are fully vaccinated. And in the case of Harris County, asking the unvaccinated to stay home.